so this is a new one there's no mountains we're in florida at the chasa howitzko wildlife management area and we're just going to be looking for new species because well i've never looked for ants in florida before so tag along and i'll show you whatever i find they're not going to be active but do you feel like they just yeah so I guess that's a Campanotosocius mound. You get some succulents here too. Yeah, I mean this looks like what I've seen pictures of. They got these really, like, really big granules. Oh, oh, is that their hole? Yeah. Yeah. It might be too hot and dry today for them to be out, so. Oh. Oh, I saw one. I saw a singular individual. Yep. Oh, there's one that you killed. Ooh. Yep, there they are. Wow, those are some really nice looking ants. So these are like the best Florida Campanotis right here. Socius. Yeah. Try and get a better. They're kind of uh, being annoying to film right now, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... I think I might have fucked them up a little bit. <laughs> you may <laughs> have, yeah. <laughs> they can do them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was expecting them to have, like, you know, yeah, no. Barbatus Mound. <laughs> No, this is a smaller colony. Yeah, let me get some video of these guys first. Which is why, like, they don't even have any majors out, I don't think. See how they, like, collect the charcoal, though? Yeah, they do. They love that charcoal. Let's see. Is it studied why they do that? Do you know? I don't think we know. Try yeah, try taking a shovel to it, see what happens. We really should be like spreading this out, but I don't want to get stoned. I don't know how inclined these are to sting. They're kind of clumsy. But like, I guarantee you, if you let a worker climb on your hand right now, it would sting you. Okay. Because I just pissed them off. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a smaller colony. Here, give me the shovel. Let me just. If you're gonna find the queen, it's gonna be in a colony like this, though, because it's a smaller colony. Oh, that's a that's a good major right there. Unless that, oh, that's the queen. Is I think really? so, yeah. Right? Or is that just a really good major? No. Uh, no, I think it's just a really good major. No, no, no. That I that is a really good major, though. Hold on, I think that's the queen. You think so? I can't tell. Where'd it go? Get her in a vial and just look. I think it's just a major. But it's a really good major if it is. Let me take a look. I don't see wing scars. But it does look like a queen. Is it like an air cast? It, looks like an, it almost looks like an inner cast to me. I can't even tell. Yeah, it really does look like an inner cast. That's interesting. Just hold on to that. Oh, I just uncovered a huge chamber. Look at all of them. Oh my god. Maybe the queen is next. Oh, you see, they got their seeds. Oh, fuck you, root. Is there a root? Is that the queen? That's the queen. Oh, yeah. Let's go, dude. First baddiest colony. Okay, <laughs> where do you want her? Um. Hang on, I'm just gonna get her in a tube with some workers. And then I can- okay, that, to that totally looks like this, bro. Is this a fucking inner cast? I think it's an inner cast. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna collect that. Here, put the inner cast in this tube. Okay. I'm just gonna ethanol it. Well, I don't have any ethanol, but I'll either- Just dump it in. There you go. 
Don't let your queen get away. She's in the shovel. <laughs> they will die, bro. Like, they will. Well, she's she's buried under the dirt in here. Oh, okay. Are you not going to take the rest of these workers? No, I'm going to collect the whole colony. I just want the queen isolated so I don't, okay. like, fuck her up. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me just make sure I actually still fucking have her. Wow. That's crazy, dude. I can't believe you got it. Especially in the first fucking colony we tried digging up. Yeah, I gotta be careful because if they climb on me, they will. Yeah, with your <laughs> fucking <laughs> with your fucking flip flops. We lost her. No, oh, there she is. I know it'd just be funny if we did. Yeah, that's that is the queen. Look at that. She's on the GoPro. We got a fucking baddest queen. Let's go. Oh, and they've got a larva. Let's go, bro. <laughs> got one larva. Come here, you. This you. colony is definitely struggling. Well, they won't be anymore. Hehehe. <laughs> like, for some reason, they made the inner cast, though. <laughs> well, but the inner cast are just like genetic mistakes. Like, they're not even. Yeah. That's so cool that you found an inner cast, though. I've never. And it's so cool that I fucking got the queen in the first goddamn Baddius colony. I know. Do you want me to get more workers, or are you happy with what we've got? I want to get as many as possible. Okay. I mean, just for the sake of, you know... A, like, not leaving any behind for no reason, and then also just to give them the best chance, because I know... They're baddies, they're supposed to be sensitive. <laughs> I'm not gonna find <laughs> The one thing I like about flirting, yeah, they're like, they're trying to bite me, but they barely can. Oh, yeah, they're biting the crap out of me. I was gonna say, is it a live Baddius colony? Yeah, I guess so. It is. It definitely is. Okay. Alright. Fuck, aren't they foraging? These ones have more brood. It looks like it. Alright. I'm just gonna start digging. Yeah. Can you see if you can find a queen? Yep. Oh, yeah, this colony is way bigger, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly really surprised that she was not in this huge clump of workers. Yeah, right? She's probably one of the deeper chambers because of the humidity. Yeah, it's gotta be. She's gotta be- she's being a good baddiest queen and going down where they're supposed to be at. Oh, Floridanus! Yeah. Pretty big colony. The wood. They kind of look like a lynx, don't they? Yeah, they do look like a lynx. Those are pretty ants. Look at them. Yeah. I was wondering when we were going to see these guys. This feels like, um, like tearing apart, like, a Novo, uh, Nova Borakensis nest in, like, 2x speed. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, it literally... <laughs> That's so accurate. Because they nest, like, just like the Nova Borakensis do, but they're just so much faster. Uh, do you know how to d differentiate between the two? Because I don't have Phantasma on my eye not. I'm honestly not even sure. I'm finding seed chambers.
God, this colony has like. This colony has a lot of majors. Yeah. I swear, this is how they usually are. I don't know. That other population must have just been like shit. Yeah. It's probably just a bad locality. Yeah, I wonder if it's just been drier there and like. They're struggling. But yeah, I mean, this colony has so many fucking majors. <laughs> Someone, one of us, degastered that major. <laughs> There's still so many of them just coming out from down here, I though. Found her. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I fucking knew it. I had such a good feeling about this. You moment. did, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I honestly had a good feeling about that too after I saw how many of them there were at the surface. Yeah, right? Why is this colony out? I guess it's cooler here. Yeah, it must just be that it's because it, it's a lot, like noticeably cooler here. Yeah. Where's my shoes, you assholes? Okay. Oh, she does look huge. Isn't she enormous? Yeah, Jesus. That thing is way too big. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks because I can't put my my hands down to stabilize it. GoPro died, but we just dug up another baddiest colony. <laughs> That's what we've got like a fifty percent success rate today now. So that's about all I have for you guys in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh. And if you're still interested and still watching, I am going to talk a little bit more about Badius and why I decided to dig up these colonies. So, I was told about a year ago by a myrmecologist friend of mine, Dr. Alex Mincer, that during the spring, Pogonomyrmex Badius, which they typically nest about eight feet deep, and usually the queen is in one of the deepest chambers in uh, a fully sized mature colony. But during the spring, when they're coming out of their diapause period for the winter, the queens come pretty close to the surface to warm up and kickstart egg production. And so, on one hand, I wanted to test his theory, which I did believe. It's true for some of the Pogonomyrmex here in Arizona, too. Pogonomyrmex californicus and maricopa uh, specifically are like that. And with Badius being a californicus group pogo, I expected it to be true, but I wanted to test it for myself. And then also, because this was my only chance to get the species, and I really was interested in keeping them, and I'm glad that I was able to get a colony. And so, I was able to sort of kill two birds with one stone, get a colony for myself, and prove that they actually are easy to dig up in the in the spring. As you saw in the video, they we didn't have to go very deep to get the queens out of them, so it was really, really nice to be able to do that. Additionally, while I don't ever condone collecting mature colonies if you don't have a good reason, like I said, I was testing a theory and also this was my only opportunity to get this species, but just in general, removing well-established colonies from the environment is a terrible thing to do, especially when it's a less common species uh, in an area. Thankfully, Badius are very common, so less of a worry there, but... Just generally, as a rule of thumb, try to collect all your queens from nuptial flights or, if you must, incipient colonies where they have just barely established and aren't making a real impact on the environment yet. So, that's it. Thank you for watching if you're still here, and yeah, have a good one.